How do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Planet Crafters with me, Nightfall. We are excited today. I've just built the Drill version 3. It's doing some things and our terraformation index is just about to hit blue sky. Look at this, look at this. It's about to hit it. I'm super excited. I can't wait. We've It's taken a few hours to get here, but we're about to do it. Here we go. Oh, yes! Advanced Crafting Station is now available to be built. New Sky has just been unlocked as an achievement. This is great. This is very, very, very cool. So, what happens now? Clouds. Clouds is the next stage of terraformation, and we've almost done 1% since walking up the stairs. So that is not going to take very long. We're going to start getting clouds on this beautiful, beautiful planet, and it is now, it is now blue sky. Very, very, very cool. So I'm going to mess about with this. What's this? Aluminium. So we need silicon and we need some aluminium. We definitely need some more silicon because I don't have enough. So we're going to go out and just farm some of that real quick. Grab some silicon. Um, and then we're going to look at building the advanced craft station now. I feel like we're going to end up moving the base. I've said this before, but I do feel like we're going to end up having to move the base because it is just too cramped up there for what we want it to be. So we might have to look at moving that at some point. But silicon seems to be evading us right now. There's some there, look. There we go. Little bit of silicon. Might as well grab some iron, because we all know we're going to use some iron. Uh, magnesium, a bit more iron. More magnesium, don't need magnesium. I need silicon. Here we go. I'm going to get the bits, and we're going to make the advanced crafting station. We're going to see what it unlocks. I'm guessing it will unlock some different things that we can then build. Is it an indoor one? Is it an outdoor one? Don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, we've got all the bits we need to make this advanced crafting station. We just need to figure out where it bloody goes. Is this uh, is an indoor one? Okay, does that mean I have to get rid of my old one? I'm not sure. I don't want to get rid of it in case because we've 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 been burnt with that before. It doesn't feel like it's oh, it is quite big actually. I just don't know what to do with it or where to put it. Jesus Christ. Um, let's put it here, I guess. Let's put it here. I feel like it's going to stick out the window a little bit. Uh, no, it's not too bad, actually. We do need to now make some more power, which is fine. Uh, magnesium and aluminium, which I have both of those, which is fine. So let's grab some magnesium and some aluminium. And let's just go outside and pop down one of these bad boys. Maybe like here. Ooh, steady. There we go. We're back online. We are back online. Cool. So, oh, okay. Here we go. Oxygen tank version four. Backpack version four. Uh, uranium rod. Iridium rod. Super alloy, which is one of everything by looks of it. Rocket engine. Holy shit. Jet pack. Interesting. We need a jet pack. Allows to fly in the air and increase displacement speed. I want a frigging jet pack. We are building. That is today's episode, ladies and gentlemen just discovered it we are building a frigging jetpack so we're gonna need what three it's nine we're gonna need 18 iridium i don't think i've got enough two three four five five ten fifteen fifteen iridium we're gonna need some more iridium uh which is fine we need two rocket engines of titanium okay we're gonna need that first so three lots of super alloy um which is cobalt iron magnesium silicon titanium and aluminium so one of basically everything so we're going to need some more silicon. Let's go and do some more farming. Let's get rid of this stuff out of my backpack first, actually. Let's do some more farming. Let's create some more elements. And let's see where we get with it. Jesus, I didn't realize this game was as big as it is, if I'm honest. I fully expected it being early access to have been over and done with by now. And um, it's just not. It's just getting bigger and better. And I'm not really going to complain. Because I'm loving this. Let's eat some stuff. Oh, oh, squashes are good for food. Oh, goddamn. Okay, here we go. Super alloy. Super alloy. Amazing. So I've got... Oh, I need one more super alloy. What do I need for that? Uh, titanium and aluminium. I think I've got enough. We're going to need to do an aluminium farm very, very shortly. But there we go. So now I can make this with titanium and my backpack. Uh, if I take my backpack off, I think I'm going to be quite low on what I can carry. So let's just shift this real quick. Let's shift this real quick. Let's grab that titanium. And I should be able to take my backpack off now without, there we go, without dropping anything. 
which now means I can make this. Backpack tier four. Oh, hell yeah. That's good. That's very, very good. Oxygen tank, I need three more super alloys and cobalt. So we're gonna need to go and get some more iron, uh, some more aluminium, sorry. So we're gonna head up over into, over there. Um, I should be fine with oxygen. I don't think I'm gonna be there for very long. But if we can get this built, then I can start working on the jetpack, which is today's mission. And I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for a friggin' jetpack. That's gonna be so much easier to traverse around this bloody planet. Okay, here we go. Iridium and aluminium iridium for the rockets i need lots of that iron that's, this is not the stuff i asked for <laughs> i'm picking up the wrong things um none of this none of this none of this you nope come on there was so much iridium there we go so much iridium around here i know there were iridium more iridium more iridium need some aluminium now please that's some over there just there, boom. Aluminium, don't need silicon, don't need, sil are you silicon? What are you, you know, iridium. Just need to be careful, I don't run out of oxygen. I should have probably brought some more oxygen to be fair, just to be on the safe side. But I think we'll be okay. Your ice, probably have to start heading back now. Yeah, I'm gonna bring an oxygen tank with me because I could definitely do more exploring and I've definitely got enough storage space now to be able to last longer than this so yeah my mistake let's get some oxygen still can't believe that in the last five minutes we've done nearly 50,000 more um, terraformation index 50,000 just about to hit that's ridiculous so much faster when you change all our drills for tier 3 drills and tier 3 heaters and stuff when we unlock them yeah lots of stuff I might have enough to start building a rocket Potentially, I've had, oh my god, I'm one aluminium short. I'm one aluminium short. Can you believe it? You could not write that. That's ridiculous. Uh, oh well, cool. That's fine. That's fine. These things happen. These things happen. Um, let's put that away in there. I've made the two iridium rods, uh, which is what I need for these. I've got uranium, which is fine. I just need a super alloy, two of those, and then one titanium, and I will have the jetpack which is just ridiculously exciting. I can't even tell you how exciting this is. Let's go ahead and bang up one of them. And yeah, let's make up a, a drink real quick, just so we're covered. There we go. Back out. More aluminium. More stuff. Yeah, this is exciting. Friggin' jetpack. Holy hell. Okay, here we go. That's my two super alloy, right? I have two now, right? I have one there. And I have one there, right? Got my two iridium rods. And then now I just need four uranium. Which I believe is in here, yeah. One, two, three. Uh, what can I get rid of? Uh, get rid of that. And four. Super cool. So now, one, two... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I has the jetpack. How do I use it? Oh. Okay, it doesn't last very long. Um. It seems to be alright, actually. <laughs> it's alright. I don't know if it does it run out. It doesn't say. Uh, allow us to fly in the air and increase displacement speed. It just. It just kind of floats. I don't know if I'm going faster from it. I feel like I'm going a little bit faster from it. If it increases displacement f um, speed, then it should speed me up, right? That should be the idea. I feel like it is a little bit speeding me up. But will it allow me to go... Oh, oh my god. If I press up, do I go up? No, I don't go up. I don't go up. I kind of do. It's very, very cool. That's for sure. I'm I'm exploring new areas. Can I get up here now with my jetpack? Um, kind of. Uh, kind of. Uh, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Maybe I'm not supposed to go this high. The game is not enjoying what I'm doing to it right now. Oh, I got up there anyway. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't do that. You nearly fall off. 
Okay, cool. So I've got... Oh my god, I found some super armor on top of this friggin' thing. Okay, so that definitely works with the jetpack. That is very, very, very cool. Oh my god, look at all the super alloy. <gasps> oh, who knew the jetpack was so cool? I'm getting super alloy for days. Oh my god, I can make all the things. I can make all the things now with the jetpack. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to have to head back to base though. But I've just got... Oh my god, can I risk it? I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to try and get these last little bits before I head back. So now I need to build version 3, or is it version 4 of the boots, whichever one I can do. Oh my god, I can float. This is amazing. This is amazing. Can I get anything in here real quick? Uh, nothing. Let's go. Yeah, I do go faster. Look, if this is my run speed, yeah, I do. Much faster. Much, 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 much faster. Okay, so we've just increased our travel and how far we can go on a single tank of oxygen and also our backpack space all at the same time can I get inside before I die yes I can yes I can and now I've got tons of the super alloy as well Jesus Christ um yeah that's a a really good unlock holy hell who knew that was so good? Um, we can now make this. <laughs> we can now make this with the super alloy that we've just got. Is it three? I'm sure it's three. Um, oxygen level's 280. Oh my god. It's now 370. Holy shit. Holy shit. Very, very cool. Oh my god. That's, that's so cool. That is so cool. Um, so, can I... So I can get up there. I know I can get, I can get up there. Can I get up? I don't think it'll let me go up straight. But I just kind of want to see. Is there more like super alloy and stuff up here as well? Because I, I, I figured the world would be capped. And you would only be able to go so far before it just kind of said no. Uh, but this doesn't seem to be the case. It's allowing me to go. It doesn't like it. It definitely doesn't like it. But it's allowing me to do it. It's telling me I shouldn't probably be up here just yet. Or this is not the way to get up here. But it is allowing me to do it. I'm worried I might fall through the world. Not going to lie. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be up this high. Oh my god. Yeah, the jetpack is, is immense. That's just changed the way that I travel on this game. Especially with... The only bad thing, I suppose, is when you do hit an area where you drop, it does just drop. There is no... There's no nice way to drop. It just drops like an absolute friggin' stone. But that is very cool. So, I can travel faster. I can travel further. I've now got more oxygen to travel further as well. Which means we can start exploring more stuff. I want to come back over here because we had all those... Um, there was all those broken... Uh, what they're called, solar lamps, right? See, like, can I deconstruct that? It's foundation, no I can't. But they had all the broken solar lamps over here. So, like this, look. So I can just grab all them. Just easy as that. Just grab all that material. Yeah, sound. Cool. Thanks, thanks for coming. I've got all these bits, haven't I? It did deconstruct some more stuff over here, but I can't remember where it was. Or was it here? It's here, look. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this is this is this is now the new way to travel. This is now oh my god, this is a little cave as well. With iridium in it. And some crystals. And some stuff. And some ice caps that are melting. Oh my god. Yeah. Game changer. Absolute game changer. Um from me playing this that's probably the best unlock I've had so far because it means I can explore even further now very cool it also means that we can start moving the base place because we're going to need to move it um, it's not big enough for what we need it for our function it's nowhere near big enough we're going to have to move it but it's nice to think now that I've got options to move it I want to have a quick look just up top on there 
um, before we finish today. I just kind of want to see what's up there. Let's drop off this stuff and let's try and get up there. And I probably should make the communications array at some point as well. I've just unlocked the grass spreader as well. I'm not quite sure what that does. Um, grass spreader, water bottle, water bottle um, seed, limaria, and some other stuff. So I'm guessing I can start terraforming the floor to have more grass and stuff on it, which is very, very cool. As I say, I'm just going to check this up here real quick. I don't know if there's fall damage. I don't feel like there is. But I also feel like if I built a base on top of there, it would be the sickest thing to ever exist because of how high it is and how cool it is and I can kind of build it to go off the side of the um, the roof type deal which is also very very cool yeah I'm um, I'm enjoying the possibilities of what we can and can't do with this game that's like it looks like a crystal formation that I can get through at some point it's got some stuff in there um, that's gonna start melting at a hundred NK which I'm guessing we're getting close to one NK so I think it's, it's quite a way off to be fair this does look like it's the end of the map. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you can clip through there. Maybe this is the end of the map, so maybe... Maybe we actually can't go up to that shelf. Yeah, maybe we can't get up there. Interesting. So maybe this is the end of this map, because I don't think, I don't think we can get up there. Yeah, it's glitching through stuff. I definitely shouldn't be this high up. So we can't get up there. Interesting very interesting but there is lots of other places to go this way so I just kind of need to find a nice spot for a neck for the base place to, to reside I do like it on there it's just not I don't know if I've got enough room there I might just have to rearrange some stuff you know and just build it there anyway um, let's see this looks like a place I can kind of walk up let's have a look I just want to see how high I can get before the game says no and I do keep clipping through stuff, so I feel like I'm getting to the limit of what the game says I'm allowed to do and not allowed to do. Oh my god, have I got up? I friggin' got up, haven't I? Yeah, I shouldn't be here. Yep. Yep, this is not somewhere you should be. When you can't see stuff rendered, you're probably in a bad spot. Now the problem's going to be me getting out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out. Oh. Yeah, don't do what I did, kids. Don't fly up in here with your jetpack. That's a terrible idea. But for now, as it is, that is going to be it, guys. Um, yeah, god, I can see inside the cave. Yeah, this is not where you're supposed to be. The game is not supposed to be played like this. I'm sure they will patch this at some point. But for now, as is, that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed um, breaking the game with me and finding places we're not supposed to go. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There's a massive structure over there. We're going to have to go and see to see what goes off in there. It's free to subscribe. It's free to comment. It's free to like. And I appreciate everything that you do. But for now, guys, I'm going to jump off this thing. Do I die? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I took a little bit of fall damage, actually. It should have probably absolutely demolished myself jumping off of there. But there we go. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!